Mission Double Bell. Come on in. See Cortina City. I've got cryptonitis. Two more Krypton machines and we're on the way to go check them out. Join us. Two more Krypton machines are in the bag. Let's go and see what they're like. Chest cam as always then. Don't want to be breaking any laws of course for those on YouTube. We're chest cammed up with a GoPro. Good, isn't it? If you love and care somebody, if you love and care for somebody, try Cherish by Cool and the Gang. It's just okay. I like my rock music, but sometimes those moments when you're just feeling a little bit slushy, why not pick? Cherish by Cool and Again. Listen to those lyrics as well. Good lyrics on this. I just like the way they roll through. Nice lyrics. Let's go see those Krypton machines. I've got Kryptonitis. It's a Krypton double whammy. Welcome on board, Cortina City. Uh, bringing you some new video updates. Only a short clip for you guys. We don't overload you. Longer clips on Patreon, but for now, come and feast your eyes on what's waiting in the delivery bay at work they've let me store it there for a while because they're quite good like that they said Pete they rang me I was away they said there's two funny looking there's some television sets with I don't know what they are it's a round screen it looks like it's out of a sci-fi film let's go downtown and check it out this is Cortina City on Krypton Unboxing Part 2 rolling in now just so you know Scrambles in the wings, right in the wings. This is not scrap. This is Bramble's brand new roof. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> not one, but two. Yes. <laughs> Dynavision, okay. Krypton Motorscope, Krypton Motorscope, Dynavision by Heyer. This one curiously just says Krypton. Two different types of uh, screen filter there, a dark green and a, a sort of yellowy colour, but two models, different models of crypto machine, one more advanced than the other. Let's take a look and see what we got. Wow, I mean, it's, it looks like something out of uh, the Forbidden Planet. I can just see Robbie the robot at the controls. Ooh! It's got all sorts of features which I probably seized and that's not going for anything tricky horizontal holds good well that's just like your television in the early days before LCD and other, other uh, types of screen flat screens um, the old uh, tube uh, Dynavision they're calling it here look at that 
that just looks like a very 50s logo. If we look there, it's like Superman, you know how the Superman font would be. So, obviously they're all for tuning up your car, some more advanced than the others, so we'll have to learn about this because I don't know exactly the difference between the models. Obviously it's, this one's bigger for a start off, but I'm just looking across and comparing left to right at the moment. I'm not seeing any more extra controls. Oh, this one's got a vacuum. Oh no, so is that. I'm trying to see the differences between the models. Krypton motor scope. I'll go up the back and read the model number off in case anyone at home knows. Um, I'm getting a serial tag. Um, 429-7. I don't think that's the model number. This one's got 740-49. No model number on that. I'm sure we'll find it out. So, approximately mid 60s machines but the most exciting part's got to be what's inside them i mean they look the part I, I quite like the look of this this little compact little baby unit it does really just look like robbie the robot i mean it's just got that look about it this one also seized on the oh no we're off we're off we're in business we we'll can plug this one in and see if the scope lights up that'll be fun um, these controls similar to my one that I've got that you've seen on the previous the uh, Krypton unboxing video if you flick back YouTubers if you've not seen it look out for that uh, that about that size with those controls this is the control box for the scope I don't think it withdraws oh yes it does something comes out whether you're supposed to take it out I don't know probably not but that I would imagine is the set that controls the tube so the tube will be wired straight into this so you could service that item if it failed without having to take the rest of it to bits presuming that anyway so this would control the, the features of the oscilloscope and the oscilloscope is being used to test dwell and all sorts of different things have we got dwell on here no we used to have we're going to need to confer with the manuals but let's explore first because it's exciting so a hammerite finish in silver, what I'd call a sort of snap-on tool chest red. Then you have this nice little, if we can get it up, that's quite stiff, it's going to need some help. Can we do the reveal guys? Out there in YouTube land. So an exhaust gas analyzer's come with this one. Nicely badged up crypts on. That bad boy carrying handle. So there we have this stands. Oh, it's a hook for on the wall. And that is your, and how it powers up. Some other sockets there for the time light. With in look, we've got a time in light. That's nice. I'm very excited about that. Like plug into there. Looks like we've been luck. We've got other cables with this model. Nobody knew what it had with it. it didn't really go into town. That's not been out there for a long time. What we've got looks like the rest of the. What have we got here? Is that HT? That's a HT isolator. I think that's HT cables. Yeah, they're permanently wired into the machine. Those. seeing three cables there two crop clip type leads these look like as I say HT that's a kind of blocker an isolator I think so loads of cables there we need to find out exactly how to wire it all that up just pop this exhaust gas analyzer back in so there we have it covered in cobwebs Real old school piece of kit, but it is some valves in that. My smaller Krypton unit I've got at home's got valves in it, quite a lot of valves. Okay, this will be a um, the timing light. It'll just be a, the old school xenon strobe. There's the xenon strobe, just like a glass vacuum glass with a gas in it, some kind of neon. High voltage across and it creates a, a lot of light. 
that gives you your strobe fire makes quite a good powerful light off these so that's good that that's in with it now you get to the exciting parts of, is there any manuals inside that always makes for exciting view and they pack the manuals with it which is great now i didn't see this on the advert so i had no idea what they had and whatever's in this bag is going to be exciting before we look in the bag some more tubes i'm presuming this is to pick up the I'm presuming this is to pick up the the gas so that must screw to exhaust pipe end there and that's a moisture trap perhaps i don't know yeah probably and then that's where it draws the well, that's onto there i think people at home are going to know mechanic old school mechanics write in and let us know what you think about that your memories of this if you do have any but and then the power to your battery or no probably the uh, coil connections not sure we'll find out Open up the box, see what we got. Smells old. Dynavision test record sheets, okay, plenty of them. Dole them out of some classic car sheets. And a tune up data book, looking rather ragged. At least it's there. Training skills, so some interesting Krypton reading for all you Kryptonites out there. Test record in blue. Advertising stereos. Quite a bit of what that's all about. Dynavision. Authorised Service Centre. Could have been a franchise or something like that. Or uh, if you leased your machine. Who knows? Here's our operating card. That's nice, but that's for the super tune. That's not for for this model. So that's the no good for this model. That's for the one I've got at home already. But you turn that wheel, and it gives you different options for setting up the leads. It's quite uh, fun to use. A 1969 year of my birth. Test date of book. It's 1970. Nice. So that's nice. Can we get 71 for Cortina? Yes, we can. So that's our Cortina era book. So that's going to be good. Do like that. So I'm presuming then in that case that uh, Ford's going to be in here. Let's see if we can find it. Cadillac. Uh, I'm going to find you now for Cortina. It better be in. Because we're Cortina City. Capri. Zephyr. It's not looking. Oh, there we go. Cortina, we're in. A 1.6 overhead valve, 1.6 overhead cam GT, 2 litre Capri 1300. So we've got the Cortina in, which is what we want because we're keeping it Cortina. It's Cortina City. So great, look at that. 71. Beautiful. A little bit of a clean up. Of course, it's survived the ages, but that's a nice period piece. So we're all looking right. Uh, 70, 71, 69, book, anything else, 72, okay, so even carrying on into the 70s decade, reasonable condition on your, your manuals, what else have we got, pulling it out of the bag, just a piece of card, you can stick that on eBay, sell that on eBay, no trouble, uh, operation manual, okay, this will be bedtime reading then, so Will we cover the principle of using the oscilloscope? Yes, we will. There's our scope principle of operation. So it's working like an oscilloscope, it's just a trace signal, cathode ray tube. There, CRT, like you would have in an old television or in a hospital on a heart monitoring machine. And it's going to have either a single input or multiple inputs. So you can um, trace various things with the engine. We need to read this to understand how it's going to work. I'm technically minded, so I'll find that quite enjoyable. Great little piece of kit. So we're okay. We can find out about the, the machine. That's going to be good. We're going to have some fun. And look at this. Just got some great pieces of advertising material now, everybody. Dynavision, a new pattern of automobile servicing. Well worth looking into. Let's... Well, let's do just that and look right in what we've got a man in the hat. Okay, 
Oh, these are nice pictures of the kit as it was brand new there. Guy in a lab coat, we need to get one of those. So next video, I'll be in a lab coat. And here, look, spark line, coil oscillations, points close, dwell, points open. So here, showing a tr what you'd call a trace. And that would help you to diagnose, diag diagnose engine faults. Or indeed, if your engine is in a good state of tune how effective it was compared to today's handheld digital voltmeters doesn't matter what we're looking for is nostalgia and just be nice to get it working so dynavision there then uh, looking very technical and what we've got now but another dynavision in green we could make ourselves a little display on the wall of the garage with these using those nice period pieces if anyone wants a scan of one, let me know and I'll scan these in for you. YouTube, Patreons and Cortina City Land. These are great little period pieces. That's just, you know, you wouldn't be able to get all of this kind of stuff. So great that it was in, in there. And there's, there's our little mini Robbie the Robot there. That's the one I've got at home. And then um, this is one of those revolving show reel, showroom revolving wheels I believe that looks suspiciously like one of the rotating wheels they had one of them in Lincoln at the uh, car dealership in Lincoln on the waterfront in fact that looks like a Zephyr you know you're gonna you're not gonna be happy if I can't ID that car I cannot ID this car but can't see what car that is oh, you're gonna hate me for that that revolves around anyway it's a showroom brochure um, what they're saying about it. They are perfection in new car service. Have, have, we have established a new department with entirely new facilities for the finest new car and used car servicing yet known. So they're really pushing the Krypton technology. There's plenty of good reading there. So some flyers and brochures. We're not quite through the bag. It's not over yet, guys. And girls, don't worry out there in YouTube land, we're not finished yet. I know you're sort of starting to really get worried that I'm going to run out of stuff, but don't. Tune up for summer motoring. Look at that. Beautiful little piece there, look at that. Isn't that a honey? Oh, yeah, it's back. Man in the lab coat's back. There he is. Again, with a, you see, he's got the model I've got at home, but the gas analyzers must have a slot on mine for that to fit in. So it's great, we can add this to my setup if we wanted to. Summer motoring servicing schedule. Okay, so this is mid 60s looking fonts and logos as opposed to 70s. Oh, we've got something Ford. Oh, look, that Ford notepad. We have hit lucky. Nope, service training notes, even better. Will we have a year? No, it's just a blank notebook. Okay, well, that's a nice little period piece for your Ford collection. We've hit lucky. Quite pleased about that. Something Ford in the bag. Great. Will there be anything else Ford? Who knows? Let's just carry on going. In a little card. We sell performance, not just service. These are nice. Look at them. You could, you could mount these in a sort of frame by the machine. Once it's all refurbished, it's going to look really nice. A 68 test book. So it's a nice range of books. We thank the, the seller for giving me those. And look at this. An original. Could it be a bill of sale? Whitney Motor Company Limited, High Street, Whitney, Oxton. We are very pleased to receive your order for a, a BD116 Motoscope to be invoiced through Kerry's Great Britain Limited of Oxford. So we could look Kerry's of Oxford up. Attach this letter, uh, publicity, training, application of your equipment. Study these carefully. Free supply of publicity material, that's what we've just found, comprising one Dynavision banner, I would love that. Perspex wall sign, wow, I could have done with one of them. And 250 leaflets, CA215, further quantities on, okay, I'm wishing you every success with your motoscope, your safely Krypton equipment, Mr. Presuming Mr. J.N. Deason could be Miss, Mrs. Motor Show, Earl's Court, CR Exhibit, Stand 426, 
It's a shame that that's not dated. The 17th to the 27th, Earl's Court now demolished, unfortunately. Criminal, that was. Uh, motor Show, October 17th. But we've got letters. Oh, 1962. So that puts our date on these as early 60s. Uh, service uh, card. This must be your local agent. See over. So you have all that detail to get your local agent. That's a nice, isn't that great? That, that came with that piece of kit. They're presuming that it is a model and it's from this. Uh, this machine, uh, what they're saying it was, CA215, no, uh, what's the name of the model, here we go, BD116, presuming this is a BD116, that's the end of that machine, but it doesn't end there, that's the end of that machine, but it doesn't end there, because, because it's the Dynavision, the Dynavision, Double bill. Let's go over this side. Oh wait, now we go up. Here's the big brother. He's got the little. He's got the middle middle one. I've got the, the little baby at home. Middle bear. This is big bear. Darker screen there. Fully Krypton logoed up there. The Dynavision logo uh, by Heyer disappearing. The manufacturer, I presume, of the scope disappearing now. Replaced with Krypton. Perhaps they bought the right. Who knows? It's a bigger machine. Okay, this one's storage drawer, let's open it up. Anything of interest inside, lockable leaf, uh, lockable lid there. Opening it up and instantly we find a set of rusted feeler gauges. Metric or imperial, I'm not sure. Whoops. Your heater needs blue, blue paraffin, I thought it was pink paraffin. And then some writing on the back. Allegro, W-Y-T. 505N, is this your Allegro? Does it still exist? YouTubers and Patreons, do you want to key it in for a bit of fun? WYT 505N and Allegro. Uh, Austin 1100 perhaps, THP 6575, or might not even be a car, but that certainly looks like a car reg plate. Nothing in the drawer then, slide it back, a little bit stiff, finishing handwrite silver. Mazak handle on the front looks like it's off a 50s dresser to me. In that goes. Now, looks like has this ever been opened? Was it opened on the advert? I can't remember. It's a bit rusty. I don't think it was opened on the ad. We've no idea what's inside. Will we get a double bill on the gas analyzer? Doesn't look like it. Here we go. Service bolt bulletins. The mice have been in. That's a shame, it looks like a Krypton, whoops, looks like a Krypton leaflet, some nice stuff there, so all Krypton stuff again inside, some publications, technical information, all really interesting stuff, Solux Carburetors, so they, they were releasing little bulletins for the mechanics to keep in the loop on various things that might help using the machine. Well hey, distributor, uh, rotor arm. Can you ID that one? Anyone at home for the rotor arm? Points if you get it. Okay, and then cover, box lid. Easy drive test equipment box lid from something. Someone's old HT lead guy, obviously very disappointed that the car never made it home. They forgot to fit that. Our super test light, Xenon strobe test light. So that one's got him, so one each, that's a good result. This stuff hasn't moved, I can tell this has never been disturbed because of the dust marks here. An old spoon, could the family silver save us? Doesn't really look like it. We grab in now to see if anything is going to be hidden beneath any of this stuff. Technical bulletins, I won't bore you with all of that stuff. Maybe on another film we can delve into this. For now, we're just trying to keep the video concise. We're going to plug a machine in just for a bit of fun. That's part of the manual, it's probably part of that yellow folder. Nothing to report there, everybody. The same setup, the gas analyzer missing on this model. Those those leads again that we saw on the other machine. So this looks pretty similar. 
maxi servicing data so a maxi servicing data card if you've got an Austin maxi do you want that but we're not finished don't worry there's, there's still one more cupboard to go I do like these Dynavision handles if something went wrong and you didn't earth the casing you could actually have a straight route of electric right across your heart and you're gone Oh, now this is looking nice. Come on in, let's have a look. Oh, oh. Hey, I found the uh, the bottom of that lid box. It's a piece of kit, will it be? Yes, it is a piece of kit. Oh, it's something heavy. No, oh, hang on, what is it? No, it's just little boxes of leads and things. This might be off the back of the machine. Always keep this cover plate closed when not making adjustments. It'll be for that, indeed it is for that there so that would be for tuning in your scope i'm presuming focus on the tube and of course they're the tube control so that would give us the dot focus of the dot and uh, your brightness control while this would select that started turning now so this one's looking favorite to fire up we're going to do a blind fire up shortly first back down rick goes with the camera so a box of goodies there these that looks like a temperature no that's a manifold uh, adapter for the vac pressure pick take off various sizes for different manifold fittings I would have thought an old light off a, an Austin 1100 dashboard I think various little bits and bobs in there okay another manual Roots Group School London, Mr. R, no, R. H. Phillips, date the 9th of December 69. Is it a school book? Yeah, it is somebody's school book. What have they been studying here? Engine stand, right? So, it's on the block. Somebody's school notes or, or college or university notes, perhaps technical stuff so probably Roots Group School London anyone know about the history on that this is RH Phillips by the looks of thing course IMP L20 IMP IMP L20 course 69 Roots Motors of course so that's interesting what we've got here handbook Viva HBHC owner's handbook just thrown in non thumbed no oily prints on it how about that if you've got a Viva from 66 delving in further then everyone and service bulletins again good bedtime reading I enjoy reading this look at that that uh, diagram of a distributor there some really good engine tech spec stuff for you to a van den Pla princess saloon and limousine also applies to the bmc ambulance and hearse <laughs> great so all people have spent a lot of time typing all this up from krypton to do all these tests and research to get all this data this is just val invaluable stuff of course a lot of it will only apply if you're running the original points and distributing you've not Oh my god, we've hit the jackpot. Oh, wow. I've never seen one. I don't recognise it. These, these, cut. okay, I've seen the four. This is just, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't believe it. It's all stuff I've never seen before. I've seen loads of Cortina. I've seen loads of Cortina books. This could be a first for the whole club. This could be... Wow, it's a servicing book. Please let it be 70s. Well, console Cortina sounding earlier than this could be Mark 1, Mark 2, but still, yeah, it's going to be early Cortina. It's no good for us. Console Cortina, that's why I've not recognised the book. It's an early book. Nice one, though, so that's going to be for the Mark 1 Cortina boys, I would have thought, if we go to bodywork, let's see, 
1962, so it's going to be Mark I. But still, a nice book. That'll fetch a tidy price on eBay, but I'm going to leave it as part of the history of the car. What a shame that wasn't the date time of uh, 71, 72. That would have been great for us. More books. So great stuff to read. We're ready to fire it up soon. A 1964 test book. We can wipe all these down and make them look nice and clean. And we can go through this and try and neaten everything up. There's more data cards here. A bit like playing cards at school. Top trumps at school. I'll do your V8 MG with my Austin 1100. No, you won't. Yes, I will. I've got a wider track than you. Boom. Job done. Vehicle testing. For the Ministry of Transport, Sester's manual, some advisory stuff, and some nice, very nice, look at these. These are great from the wall of the garage. Original test cards. You see these in the auto jumbles, going for a five or so each. Look at that's in great condition, so some great stuff for you to frame. If you're into making your garage all retro, I'll um, supply some of these. If you want Hillman Avenger, so you, hopefully there could be one for the Cortina in there. Ford Escort, well, straight onto Ford there. Victor, Vauxhall, oh, it's uh, got an index card. It's actually fully indexed with these tab cards here, and it just happened to be open on the Ford bit. Whether the Cortina one's in there, I don't know. So that's about it for this. Some job cards, some letters, oh, Woolwich College. More diagrams, guys. The mechanic doing some basic principles of distributor ignition system. Some brakes there. That's nice. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Super value. Yeah, look at that. I do like that girling. That's another nice piece you could frame. This is good original PR stuff. And that not. Dissimilar to a Cortina servo at the back there, bolt spacing the same, that's the same, just that the uh, master cylinder is different, but I wonder indeed if they called that the Super Vac on the Cortina. We'll look into it, but plenty of reading, so there we go. Them cards and a coin. We've got a coin. Ten pence with a date of 1976. I believe that is a six. Yeah, 1976, 10 pence. Great. Always good to find money. And something else, a little trinket here. What have we got? Condenser for a Ford 105E. Nice little pack inside the machine. Bit of hitch that's been in there for years. So imagine how long that's been in that in this and where this machine has sat and the tales it could tell. That's why stuff like this is really exciting. And I think things like this are becoming, they're just disappearing, you know. And if no one bid on this on eBay and it got no bids, it could well have got scrapped. So I think that it's great to save this kind of stuff. This could have ended up in a skip. I mean, I, I only put a cheeky last minute bid on this, £121, I think, for this one. And um, there was no other bidders on it. So that was good. I think I made an offer actually a one two one or half their asking price, something like that. It wasn't a lot of money. Transport was more than the machine. More cables. We keep seeing these cables pop up here. So we'll find out what they're for. I believe they go across your coil, but I might be wrong. And they're the HT HT pickups for the oscilloscope to measure the the, uh, the trace of your spark plugs and various things going on. Let's switch it on. So completely raw. You're not. I mean, to prove there's no magic, no tricks. Rick's just there on the camera. I'm just. This could just blow the whole place. It really should dry out first because you can get HT tracking on the tube. Uh, it could damp. But for the purposes of entertainment, I'm prepared to give it a chance. We are on an RCD breaker. So world first, we don't know the model of this one, that's a DV116 I think, DVD116, I don't know this model, but world first, we go for the plug, I'm switched on, and there's absolutely nothing happening, 
please give me something. Everything seems to be. Robbie, come in. Is there anybody out there? Is is there anybody out there? I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. Make sure I'm switched on. I am switched on. We have to check the fuse. What's up? Lights. Our cameraman reports activity. Oh, 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 oh. bring the camera down, mate. Eh? Winter of fuse checking situation. Okay, mate. Let's see what we got. We've got power on the bulbs, but nothing on the oscilloscope. There'll be a reason why it blew, though. That's the problem. So look, popped. They're old school fuses, them aren't. Look at that original, labelled up. Smell it. Two fuses, and that's it. Well, there's no life out of, out of the Big Brother motor scope, so we're going to just try, but I think I'm very confident I can get that to go. Uh, this module here does all the oscilloscope, oscilloscope control, so we can get that out and have a look at it. And tubes don't normally go, very rarely, unless you neck the, neck the tube. Our middle range model then, with the gas tester, nice setup. Let's uh, get it plugged in. Ricky, uh, do the honours and plug me in. We'll stay live as Rick plugs us in, so if you're seeing, although we do think that this needs to locate a bit better. Hold on Rick, let me try and locate this module. Hold on guys, we're going to just push, make sure this is seated properly before we power it up. Don't try this at home, hold on. Whoops. Right, switch it off. Because I won't catch that. Action. You join us any second. We're not going to switch on just yet, but plug's just gone in. We've pushed this back into place, which we think it, it pulled itself out. <clears throat> the plug looked really rusty at the back, like it never been pushed into this unit for a long time. So, Rick, hit it! got a neon light here we've got flickering on the screen and then not, it's given an occasional flash every now and again which means the tube's probably good it's whoa 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 get ready to switch it off it's starting to arc shit turn off turn off Wow, something crazy is going on inside there, that's going to need, we could damage it, so really we don't want to damage that, we need to let this dry, but um, Dynavision was trying to go, he really was. The off on works so we know that's the off on control for the, the whole unit <clears throat> HD's not coming but it, when it does I'm getting a picture <sighs> okay we are ready for the big test found a loose connector so what we've got to do now, 
Okay, Rick, hit the main switch. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice. And now we've got juice. Dynavision, come on. All we've got to do is wake up. It's been stood for God knows how long. There is a Dynavision, we're in. We got a trace. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in. That's a just a. Get me tuned in on this, uh, let's get going. Oh yeah, we're all over there, so we're on. We, we are operational. So that's our trace there, as soon as we start messing with the leads. That's, that'll do for this evening, for this video. We're gonna actually hook this bad boy up. Okay, we're gonna hook this up to a car one day, but we'll, get, we'll clean it all up just for, for YouTubers today. So we've got one working unit. This The junior one's not quite as good. The junior one's not quite got it. We've got problems with the junior, but senior is good. Sorry, not junior, he's, he's mid one. Junior's at home. This is the middle. And Big Bear's good. Would you believe it though, all the time that it's been been kept up in a chicken shed? I think this one was in a chicken shed and just left. I think they said they bought it 45 years ago. I'll have to check my eBay listing. I think it was this one. And they never used it. Now, everything's run by valves and it's just been lucky it's held out. I mean, this is the biggest um, problem if it, this scope or the tube had broke or the tube had what you call um, necked where it's lost its gas, it's lost its vacuum because the neck of the tube gets broke or it gets uh, bird screen burn or whatever. Uh, I think we should be able to select all the different patterns. This will just be the frequency that it picks things up at and stuff like that and then if, got other way, ways we can adjust the position of this to get it centralized so there'll be ways to calibrate all this which will take some books home tonight and read uh, brightness uh, tube brightness is set there but we're getting good readings I don't know if you can see this at home guys um, but it's all looking good we don't want to really do much more I think we got away with it we now seem to be slowing down and staying in one place no it's just the way that goes okay so Dynavision motorscope unboxing vid hope you enjoyed i made up with it we've seen all the books and we actually power up and run how about that a bit of crap okay guys so I'm driving back from the canteen lock up there and a successful Dynavision test. Oh yeah, that made me happy just to see that oscilloscope trace come in. Uh, just a loose mains lead inside where the, the, the bulging plug had uh, corroded so there was no live getting through into the set so we just sold it on a new pin and uh, we were good. We were running. It must have been the only fault with that. Uh, well, say so it's not going to be the only fault with it but at least uh, you've got a fight in chance that's uh, going to give us a trace and the rest of the instruments may or may not work but even so it's going to light up and look something nice and we'll get it all powder coated and restored uh, one day as a, a side project uh, but for now we're going to uh, leave the video here hope you enjoyed a bit of fun and Ruby uh, a bit of a daily driver at the moment as well uh, we don't lay the car up really for winter we just clean it after we use it um, if the heavy grit comes out of course I won't do but at the moment just on cold nights like this we're about 1-2 degrees frost lights not on yet but uh, it could be we'll see you soon Cortina City have a look at the other videos if you're new to the channel we've had a lot of new subscribers recently sorry about the dark footage now we're going home in Ruby over and out Cortina City don't forget to visit patreon.com forward slash Cortina uh, you'll find my uh, Patreon support site there over and out, Cortina City. Krypton with Dynavision. We're back, and let's go and get this video uploaded for you, so we'll catch you soon. Cortina City signing out.
and some essential reading for tonight the Krypton manual and the great thing is this is the right book for the unit or at least it covers the scope I think this is for the, the little mid-range one that we had but the good thing about it is that it's given us all the instructions for the scope operation as you can see all different types of test breaker point condition coil polarity dwell overlap dwell angle dwell variation so with all these different patterns we can spot potential problems for me with electronic ignition on the car I'm gonna probably some of these won't be relevant it's a shame sometimes you want to keep it all standard and keep your points on but the modern retrofit electronic uh, units that don't use points use either an opto or a whole effect magnet sensor um, do away with it. these kind of some of these kind of tests but you can still see about your coil and your spark plug gaps this picks up spark plug gaps and things like that faults be great fun just to learn how all this works and learn how to use it on cars I could always help with people in the club uh, in the Cort Mark III Cortina club or anyone else that knows me with the Cortina we can come round or we can bring the car around we can hook it up to the Krypton machine just for a bit of nostalgic fun so I'll, I will wrap it now as I said there the, it's good news that the manual is going to give us all the information on the principle of the machine if nothing else it lets us know what the machine was all about excuse me please so the Krypton book there with Chelsea taking an interest as well say good night say good night madam Who's popping? Down. This is a look what we got. Could be dust burning off the valves. Could be something worse. Caps. Ah, I think it's this cap here is opening up. Look. I think it's that. Caps ready to go pop. Still. I could blow it any minute, that cap. I think it's a cap.